Hi friends, this is presidential elections and campaigns, our third lecture on the presidency, and this is part two of that lecture. And we'll begin with slide six. Uh, we're talking about the Electoral College, some of the problems, some of the challenging elections that you just looked at. Uh, these are some of the proposals for changing uh, the Electoral College, basically moving to a, to a situation where we directly elect candidates. Uh, of course, that comes with some problems as well. That's not a perfect scenario. Um, and also where we do it in a proportional system. That's another option that has been envisioned for uh, revising the Electoral College. Another one of those options, I ask you to, to look at all those uh, for your own edification, is uh, a system where we have kind of an immediate runoff, that we have people could like maybe vote in the morning and if no candidate received a majority of votes, then you have a runoff, you take the top two and you have a re-election, uh, another vote that afternoon. So that gives you some idea. Uh, but in this lecture, we mainly want to turn to the second major issue that we're going to be discussing uh, when it comes to presidential elections and campaigns, and that indeed is campaigns. Campaigns, especially presidential campaigns in America, are unique from executive presidential campaigns in any other country, mainly because they're longer. In the parliamentary systems that we talked about earlier in the semester, their elections uh, sometimes take place in just a few weeks or a month. They call an election, and boom, they have an election. American presidential elections are long, sometimes as many as two years uh, uh, ahead of the actual election day. People start campaigning. It's more like a horse race. Uh, if you can survive, if your family can survive, if you can continue on the campaign trail. Um, so when we talk about campaigns, we talk about strategies. We talk about the presidential candidates' strategies for success getting elected, as well as those people that he and perhaps him and she put together their campaign staff. Okay, so we'll really begin looking at slides seven and eight, uh, what we call the post-convention campaign strategies, uh, and then building coalitions. In terms of a, a campaign strategy, we know already, given our earlier study of political parties, that if you're running for president, you're going to run and, and uh, the primary caucus cycle where you're running in each state for the political party's nomination. If you win that political party's nomination in the primary caucus cycle, then you run against the other party's winner of the same primary caucus cycle in the general election. If you win the general election, you become the big enchilada, the main person, the big cheese the President of the United States, leader of the free world. So, the slides seven and eight give us some overview of that and some of the overview of the um, major issues. Slide nine, for example, uh, suggests uh, that most presidential campaigns, recent vintage, have an overall theme that guides their campaigns. Take a look at these themes. They're very different, and they should both Evans, the qualities of the candidate, what they believe, what they think can make the, the ideas that can make the country a better place, improve our economic welfare, national security, etc., etc., but also bring about a theme that can help win uh, the election for them. Um, slide 10 talks about some of the tactics that are used in campaigns. Uh, presidential campaigns as they develop um, and our and slide 11 gives us another feature of presidential elections namely third party candidates that's a candidate as we know who is not a member of the two major parties please take a look at the uh, hyperlink video and then there's some information on uh, third party campaigns. Typically third party candidates don't win, but they help the electoral process in two ways. First of all, they introduce ideas that the two major candidates may not share or exhibit. Secondly, they can
actually take votes away from one or both of the two major candidates. And there's a good bit of information on the slide and the ensuing hyperlinks about this. American presidential elections and campaigns are one of the most exciting aspects of our political system and one of the most exciting things about being an American. And uh, I hope that you have enjoyed uh, these hyperlinks and the lecture. Thank you.